Right, I'm going to have another go at uh, talking about musical formats and what I've learned in the last uh, few years. Um, firstly, uh, the you know so many decks in the last few years have have had input input resolutions that have far exceeded my needs and expectations, um, and uh, uh, it's only until recently that. I've been able to play sources that have taken advantage of some of those input resolutions, but certainly not all of them. Um, but the, you know, the biggest take home that I've really had over the last uh, few years is that it's not about the well, it is about the input resolution, but uh, it, it's it's about what you're playing it through. Uh, one of the best decks I've ever heard was uh, from a Yamaha CD player. I can't remember what model it was, but uh, playing a CD through that, everything just sounded right. Uh, you had a, a, a beautiful sound stage, a really organic and uh, real life sound coming to me, and with this beautiful imaging, and you know it was it was perfect. And that's playing a CD, so you you're basically looking at a maximum of uh, uh, forty-four point one kilohertz input. Um, I don't know whether it was upsampling, I'm, pr I'm sure it was, who knows what it was doing, but absolutely remarkable piece of equipment. Uh, and also the um, that Bryston BDA-1, uh, which, you know, it's, oh crumbs, it would be getting on for 20 years old now, but it's an absolutely amazing piece of equipment and uh, produces such a beautiful sound. And these are, uh, com by today's standards, comparatively low, uh, input uh, resolutions and then you've got stuff that's you know the the my i think the one that i i hate the most uh is the the chord q test um it's got an input resolution of up to what is it 32 bit and 900 and something kilohertz it's absolutely outrageous um i haven't found a source yet that will will actually cater for that but um uh i actually find it a really uh dry and analytical device. I don't like it at all. Um, and don't get me started on the stupid little buttons. Um, so, you know, as far as uh, what you're playing, whether it's a CD or whether it's a CD quality resolution or, or something higher than that, what you're playing it through is it makes a huge difference, is a big deal. So um, don't necessarily go for um for the numbers don't go for the specifications but have a look around and see what what's available and what what sound you like and uh yeah um but then we get to the exciting stuff and the evolution you know the uh that that to in this world today the sources are available in uh for the most part pretty high resolution straight at st streaming straight off of the net um so uh, the two big, the two big ones for audio files, really, or for uh, for for people who enjoy um, high res music, are Tidal and Cobus. So Cobus does uh, the uh, FLAC files, and Tidal does a combination thereof. And um, their uh, Tidal's hi-fi hi-fi resolution, I think, is uh, FLAC, and then it goes to the MQA, which um, does weird and wonderful things. Um, but that's also really hard to access. So uh, Tidal's MQA, and I'm I'm really enjoying that right now. So uh, I've got a uh, uh, the the Wii Blue Sound Vault, so I can either play music that's stored in it, or I can stream music through it. Um, the CD quality, the stuff, the the music that's stored on there is all ripped CDs, so it came from from a CD format. Um, and to my ears sounds better than the hi-fi quality of uh, Tidal, which is supposed to be uh, lossless flack. Um, why does it sound better? I don't know, but it does. It, to me, it's uh, there's more depth of stage, there's more realism, uh, and more staging in general, and you know, better separation of instruments. Um, there shouldn't be, but there is. Uh, then there's the MQA format and uh, the Blue Sound will do the first part of the unpacking of that format. So it's putting through my deck 
um, 24 bits and somewhere around sort of the 90 kilohertz range. Um, uh, when I walk through the room, so you know, I, I pretty much when I get through, when I get in the door in the evening, I'll I'll press the play button and I'll let Tidal connect do its thing, and you know, I'll start with a song and it will do it will play whatever it plays afterwards. So it, it'll play different formats all the time. And you know, when, if I'm cooking or if I'm walking through the room, sometimes I'll, I'll hear something and go, God, that sounds good. And check the resolution on the, on the front of the deck and see what it's streaming at. Um, and uh, for the most part, uh, when I'm hearing that, when I hear something that's really good, it typically is coming through that, that master's format. Uh, not always. Sometimes it get tricked, and and sometimes it's a uh, a lower format. But uh, but for the most part, if I if I like something, if something sounding good, it's going through that MQ, MQA format. Um, the trick is the next bit. What do I do afterwards? So the the vault is capable of uh, unpacking the whole file and sending it in its in its whole, full resolution uh, out of the analog. Um, outputs in the back of it um, and I've tried that and it's just not good enough um, the DAC in the blue sound is not as good as uh, the standalone DAC the uh, the NAD M51 there so again I don't know what's happening there that uh, that NAD DAC I don't know what's going on in there but everything it puts out it puts out in a, in a, a very very pleasing manner and it does a better job at lower resolution than the vaults can do at a high resolution. So the vault goes uh, through the NAD DAC and then um, into the power amp. Um, and that means I'm not getting that full advantage and I'm looking around and I've, I've asked the question, uh, I've put it out there to find out if there is a device that will um, do that final stage of unpacking and then feed it to the deck, to my deck digitally. And as yet, I haven't found a solution. Uh, so really the next solution would be to, to, to go shopping again for a deck that will uh, support the full MQA format. Uh, but that's an expensive exercise. You know, um, it's gonna, to get the nearest equivalent to what I've got now is gonna cost me, I don't know, three, four, five thousand dollars, um, Kiwi dollars. Uh, and that's more that I'm prepared to uh, to pay at the moment. Um, and also um, with the with a question mark hanging over MQA, whether that's going to remain as a format or not, um, I'm not prepared to bite that bullet right now. Uh, so um, th that's the other the th the other thing that's hanging in the balance. There is is so title is likely to be offering. Uh, full master's resolution, master's copies in FLAC in lossless files, um, uh, which on paper will be a, a smaller resolution than the MQA file. So that will be interesting to see whether that whether I can actually tell that difference at all. Um, I've had a go with comparing Kobus. Uh, flat files with uh, w what I can generate with the MQA files and uh, it's pretty nominal, it's pretty marginal uh, whether I can tell the difference or not um, and I, I think it probably comes down to recordings or um, uh, my mood at the time but so this could all be academic in a few months time uh, but we'll see but there it is so there's you know there's a to access some of these things becomes difficult. Uh, you can't access uh, MQA resolution on your phone. Um, uh, hilariously, you can't access um, uh, Apple lossless through Bluetooth through Bluetooth headphones. So uh, there's you know there's a lot of evolution yet to happen in this space, and and I'm sure it will come. Um, uh, but yeah, so for now. Uh, those are the options. I think using, taking advantage of FLAC files is handy because anything will play them. Um, but uh, if there is a next evolution with MQA that will allow uh, more devices to 
take advantage of that uh, or if it does become a if it does actually become a more standard format um, that will be really interesting too certainly I've been really impressed with what I've heard so far uh, so I'm really hoping that they'll persevere with that um, yeah uh, and uh, I think that's about it I think that's I'll, I'll, I'll pause there and uh, I'll pick this up again at some point Ta.